Who we are matters. When we have the courage to show up as who we are, that matters. We have the courage to call to that deeper place and another person and invite that. What if the very structure of reality is not held so much in matter or in energy? What if the very structure of reality is held in being? And that the outer visible parts of reality, what we can see of energy and matter, is simply the clothing, the embodiment of an underlying structure of being. And that that underlying structure is the structure of reality. To our scientific minds, it seems far-fetched. But think about it in your own life. Isn't your own life the challenge of knowing and embodying and sharing the structure of reality? And that structure is not just money, and it's not just things. It may, be, it may have the outer clothing of those forms. But the structure of reality that is the challenge for us to create is the structure of being known as a human being in our lives. It's not just the relationship between matter, material objects. The structure of reality is the relationship among being. It is, in the current day and age, a remarkable statement that who matters and that the whole world is born out of self. It might be good to reflect on how that's a very modern view of the world. The ancient view of the world was that they were, there were beings out of whom the world was born, out of whom the, the solar system and the universe was born. It, it was, in the ancient view, all born out of being. And you might say that in, in many cases there was superstition attached to that, and there was myth and legend that in some cases you might think was fanciful. But it is a very different worldview than our worldview, which is that we live in an essentially mechanical universe that's filled with energy and matter. Is it possible that here together we could move past our literal scientific minds and touch into another reality? When we own the significance of who is present, of our own beingness, our own presence. And as we honor the, the significance of the presence of the being of another, we are moving past all of the veils of consciousness, having the courage to express from a deeper place from within ourselves, from a deeper knowing, from a deeper love, and then to call to that deeper place in another. And in that calling to invite a sharing that transcends the pedestrian level at which we've come to function in Western culture oh so often. 